Mentally has never looked at a woman even in any parts of her body. Well, um, I wouldn't go that far. So anyway, you having sex like this? <laughs> <laughs> Just like this, like watching NCIS. <laughs> NCIS. And then a woman dude. comes on the screen, you go like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I need Scott Bakula on. Runk. <laughs> How many ices do you want? That's not a question. You want light ice? No, you want no, no, no ice or extra really? ices? Yeah, light extra you want ices. Extra ice. You want extra ices? Yeah. So that's good. I asked you. Yeah, that's crazy that they even. Dude, always the most ice. Light ice is weird. Bro. I like no ice because I, then I put my own in. Well, that's different. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. yeah. That's fine. That's that's fine. That's. I like I like to uh, have no ice because then I can add my own ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the most boring thing you could possibly say. I think. Well, I don't agree. Dude. How about the fact that it's Christmas Eve? Just hear those sleigh bells ringling, jing, jing, jingling too. Get away to lovely weather for with you. Blind. You look so blind in those glasses. It's dude, blind. you know what? I look blind in these glasses and these and this grow or die hoodie, which is awesome. Talk dude. about it's it. Gro- well, Actually, talk about it. Well, can you finish. zoom in, Anthony? Could you in the edit zoom in? It's absolutely embroidered. It is embroidered. Grow or die. People do not understand that I'm not religious. And they say, you shouldn't have G.O.D. on there, but he's, you know, he's controversial. He's always been controversial. The sword, it says grow or die. Look at that. You zoom in on there. Um, so it's at chrislee.com. It's the best merch we ever did. And it's uh, cold. So get it. And it's Christmas Eve. So you can actually get it now and be like, yo, I got you this tomorrow on Christmas when you see someone. So there you go. Uh, but anyway. That's you, terrific. Do people really get mad about G.O.D.? Oh, of course. That's so dumb, dude. Oh, of course. Of course. God, people... Well, I mean, Stop I have Stop getting upset at stuff that affects your life zero. Mm-hmm. Yay, Matt. <sighs> Yay. Bravo, Matt. Bravissimo, Matt. Yay, Yay. we love you. Oh, dude. Throwing flowers. Um, so, and then also, I'll tell you what's been really kicking and what you can do is go to patreon.com slash lifeline luxury. Holy franken. I'll tell you what. The last couple. Yeah. Holy franken. Yeah. Binkin. Anthony Blinken. Nah, it's crazy a good. Bit, okay. It's crazy, crazy good. All right, yeah, and it's 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 pretty good. And so, you could go get that, fill up your stocking with the Patreon dot com slash Lifeline Luxury, and then I have a, a new I have new dates on on sale. Uh, Sacramento, Brea, California, Phoenix, El Paso, uh, Albuquerque, and then we got Kelowna. Is that how you say it? This BC. Vancouver, BC, uh, Rochester, New York, uh, Kitchener, Ontario, Shreveport, Louisiana, Houston, Texas. Wow, there's a lot here. Corpus Christi, which I've never been to. Durham, which I love. And Norfolk. I think that's how you say it. Norfolk. Norfolk. Virginia. So that's you go to chrislee.com and get them up while they're still hot, while they're still there. You get the good seats. Uh, That's it. Do you want the good seats? Go now and buy them now. Okay. You want the regular seats? Yeah, maybe wait a day. Matt's got his pod. Go to... Uh, go to... Go to the uh, private record.com. Yeah. Submit you and your story to be a guest on my soon-to-be but, enormously famous okay. podcast, Let's, The Private Record, thepriverecord.com. Oh, follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Oh, subscribe right, right, on YouTube. Chill, chill, chill. chill. Oh. Right, chill, chill, chill. So uh, send us a submission. Link is uh, below. And uh, that's what's up. Now, it's Christmas coming up tomorrow. So it might be Christmas today. You're listening to this, uh, watching this on Christmas. It could be avoiding your family, listening to or watching this right now. So if it is, all I can say is, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And uh, you know what I actually don't like? Hmm. I don't like... What, what's up with ho, 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 you know? Like, that's not how people laugh. That's not what Santa's doing, man. Santa's ho, ho, ho is a completely singular thing unto itself. It's not He's not laughing. Really? Santa, have you always thought Santa was laughing when he says ho, ho, ho? Yes. You have the weirdest brain. Well, why is he just ever saying ever developed ho, by a ho, human? Ho, ho, Like he's an orgy. That's like what he says. Like come, like, come one, come all. It's like his expression, whatever. Ho, ho, ho. And he comes down the chimney with his fat fucking fat all right, fuck well, belly. It's too early to swear. Sorry, okay. You know what? I think he is laughing. 
Oh, smashed him. You think that or you know that? Because he does go like this. No, oh, a lot of the guys go, ho, ho, ho. They do like that. Because he's jolly, dude. But he's, Jolly's on the way to laughing. It is, but it's not. It is that. <laughs> it isn't. Let's look it up. I thought it was laughing. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Ha, ha, ha. What if it was that? That's Then he would be laughing. He, he, he. Then he'd be me. <laughs> uh, I don't if know. He, but if, what I, if it was ha, 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 he would be laughing. Would if be it's he, 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 he would be me. If Matt it's Delia ho, 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 it's just, <laughs> it's just Santa. He's expressing his immense happiness with boisterous laughter. Oh, God. Well, that's just Google. That's Santa Letter Factory, okay? That's not a re yeah. reputable source. But we, you know what? Let me just say this. Google only shows you what it wants to show you. Google, Google is the government. Dude, late last night, my brother texted this thread, the Lifeline thread, which is me and him, obviously, and then Chris and Anthony behind the cameras. And he just, all out of the blue, texted, Google is the government. Right. A apropos just, nothing. Apropos nothing, just a, a just an idiot down a rabbit hole of idiot, <laughs> uh, of of like idiotic links, you know. It probably like, is, but but think about this though. Like, who click, used clicked on one outbrain link on the bottom of some like page, right. and then clicked on another link after the outbrain one, uh, and ended up thinking the Google is the government. Okay, so so check this out. The government's in control, right? Okay, all right, cool. All of right, all right. what? Okay, cool. Fine. Of, Sounds of good. How about this, Bureaucratic dude? government agencies? Yes, they're right. in, in, in right. control of that. Okay, Barely. sounds good. Okay, cool. Hey, yeah. Okay, give us the rules, government. Okay, so check this out, dude. Who? Ace Ventura! <laughs> dude, Ace Ventura. Wow. Dude. Oh, 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 does the government have their own search engine? Oh, or do they use Google? Oh, so Google. So everybody uses Google. Oh, so everybody could type in anything on Google and get a pre-planned, uh, biased uh, list of things that they're looking up. And oh, and also the government does that. So, oh, so Google is in control of everything because if the government wants to Google something, oh, Google's the one that puts out the bias list. And now, oh, the officials in the government check that list and then, oh, they're shaping society. So, oh, it's not necessarily the government that's shaping society. Oh, it's Google. So Google's the government. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 Google's the government. Dude, the wise ass thing you're doing oh it only makes the argument you're making that much more annoying and idiotic <laughs> imagine imagine a lawyer did it or like in congress people were doing it i mean i guarantee you someone's done that yeah Con but dude, congressmen and women like when they take the mic on the like at mm -hmm. some kind of session they're such like uh, righteous yeah ironic Dickhead. Yeah. Like, oh, so I take that. What I take that to mean is <laughs> yeah, are, you hate America, yeah. and that's what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah. And then the person has like 12 seconds to respond. Why? Yeah. Why is that? Why are the mics so bad in Congress too? You know, it's always like because they don't know how to use them. Because they're just some know. dentist. I know. And then they're 56 and get elected, and then they're sitting in front of a mic and don't know what to I do. Know. Stripping. Stripping. <laughs> that is a Dude, good hoodie, though. You should buy that. It is good. Everybody. So, so some dentist, you know? Um, That's what these people are, I know. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Don't get me, so, start, get me started. No, I, I almost got started, but I, I stopped. I, okay, that's stopped okay. Myself. But what I'm saying is the, that Google is, shapes our world more than you know it. I think it shapes our world a whole lot. Okay. But more than you know it, Google is the gov. No, well, maybe yeah. Google is the government because Google is in control of the government. Because, how do you because it's biased and it can sway? And how is Google elections? In oh, check please. <laughs> but when you say in control of the government, what do you what do you even mean? The, the, the government uses Google. That's why I only but use. What Lycos. does that mean? The government uses we gotta Google. We got to use Bing more. What? What does that mean? The government uses Google, dude. Like, what are you saying when, when you the say government? That? Okay, look, Google. <clears throat> Dude, did you ever see the thing where they Google uh, uh, something like uh, top or something uh, Republican races, uh, winner races, winner, whatever, and it says like, and, and, and the first suggestion is Republican racist quotes. And it's like, oh, dude, we're getting shaped. Have you read that book? I mean, probably. Uh, have you read that book? <laughs> But about, it's like what? What is? I gotta look. You talk about the client fact, by John Grisham. Dude, I read it. I read it. Let but, me look, let me find the title. But that's again. the thing. It's like Google can just basically shape us, dude. <clears throat> and they could sway the election. They can really sway a lot. Of, they've done 
control tests and all this stuff about the, we need more, you know, we need more search engines that are, they have a monopoly. Google and Facebook, they have a monopoly on this thing. They, we need more social networks and we need more search engines. Okay, you're being a crazy guy. This is why I use Lycos only. You're <laughs> an ad sponsored by Lycos, you know? <laughs> no, but that's why we got to use Bing more. But I'm just saying... Um, Oh, it's called Everybody Lies. Mm -hmm. It's about what people really search on Google and the reason why certain searches are, are uh, suggested mm. is because what people actually Google is not at all what they purport to think out in the world. Sure. And think, uh, certainly think about out, out in the world. Yeah. Okay? So they're saying that... And so there's all these studies in the book that's like they have Google analytic information which I think is accessible to everybody, right? Google Dashboard has like all this information. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so they claim, dude. Oh, so skeptical. So they claim. Just dude. watch Plandemic, you know? No, but I'm just saying, I mean. Bleep that. I've, I don't want to get, you know. I've seen it. But oh, I've surprised. also seen Zeitgeist. But I, what. Have but, you seen Loose Change? Loose Change yeah. was like the first. I know. Like idiot person thing that, every, that people no, were well, like, oh, have you seen it? It was an inside job. But okay, so hold on a second though. Uh. I remember eating that up, by the way. Dude, me yeah, too. Dude. But that's I, people are dumb. No, no, no. I never. No, wait. Hold on. You didn't watch it and then think that 9-11 was an inside job. I watched you? Loose Change and, and, and thought something was fishy about 9-11, which is. But something is fishy about 9-11. No, it's not. We dude, don't know the whole the truth. It's the most clear cut thing ever. But we don't know the whole truth. There's no way. What There's you, no way. What do you mean when you we say We don't know the whole truth. truth about everything. It's all there are very weird things that happen on If you mean like Saudi Arabia's links to the terrorists, sure. I know we don't know and we might not ever know. But if we're talking about what happened on that day, we have a really, Bush. really, really good idea. Bush knocked down the towers. You know that's a, that that rap song by a moral technique? It was you. It was you. Bush knock Bush knocked down them towers. Wow, that is It was you. The definition of ignorant, you know? Well, didn't knock down the towers. The Bush have long-standing ties with very, very any, weird families. If anybody, sure, and they're okay. corrupt as okay. friggin'. So that's, that's what I'm saying. They're that's, corrupt that's as friggin' us, but that doesn't mean that they. That was an inside job. No, There's I no know. Connection. I'm not saying that George Bush was like, "Well, knock down the towers." <laughs> if you need proof that there was no connection, just look at his reaction to learning that it happened. He, he's too. He, he, the fact that you could think that he could control anything is crazy. He's yeah, just always I like, agree. "What?" Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it, you know, he would he didn't orchestrate this. But I'm saying, just look something. at his paintings. There's a good glimpse into his mind yeah, true. and his. Uh, but anyway, this is really great Christmas talk. But Merry Christmas <laughs> and uh, the Google's in control of the government, and so. Merry Christmas, <laughs> and um, I hope Quarterback. a quarterback. <laughs> I hope it's great, dude. Merry Christmas, hut. <laughs> I hope that uh, everyone had a good Christmas. I hope everyone is having a good Christmas, and I hope that uh, the Hanukkah Hanukkah was good. I hope that Kwanzaa will be good, uh, and yeah, Boxing dude. Day, and all that. All of the holidays mm -hmm. that you can celebrate. I hope mm -hmm. it, all of you that are celebrating each one of those yep. are having the greatest yep. one you've yep. ever had. Yeah, it's been a rough year for a lot of people, but it's time to celebrate. Get happy for the oncoming year okay. that hasn't so, come right. yet. So, it might be amazing, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. What, about Great. the Christmas? The next year might be amazing. Oh, yeah, I know. I yeah. know, I know. But then know. it's like it won't be because there's an election, right? Well, it won't be because it's just a, a year, and mm -hmm. every year is similar to the year before, mm -hmm. generally speaking, and years are bad. Let's okay. be positive, though. Yeah. No, next year's going to be great. Woo! 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 Let's start. All right. Let's start. We know him. Yeah, we do. Yo, what's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? What's up? I'm going to get right to it. Who's this guy again? I have got a very unique situation no, in my not. hands. I guess we don't know him. I am a bit befuddled with how to move forward. Okay. So I've recently started dating this girl. We're both around 30 years old. Okay. It's been going really great. Um, but this past week, I've learned some unique information about her. I don't know if it's a red flag or not. So Gonna she be. has multiple friends who are much older men. Oh, okay. Like guys in their 60s. Um, how many is And what gets even more peculiar is the details about the relationships of these men. So one older man that she is friends with is her first boyfriend from high school, his father. Oh, whoa. So over the past 15 years or so, they've stayed in contact, they text. He sends her good morning, like there's hearts in the texts. What? He sends her pictures of his puppy. Sometimes he even brings over gifts like wine or marijuana no, that's and weird. they hang out. 
I don't want to make any assumptions or come to any conclusions. That's very but fair of you. Just want to present the facts. That's happening. That's it's unique. It's yeah, that is certainly unique. unique. That is know, a word so okay. That's unique. <laughs> Secondly, later next month, um, she works in the medical field. She's going to be going to like a Christmas holiday party mm -hmm. with an older guy from work. Yeah, a doctor cheats more than people in the medical in his sixties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> they're going to be all crashing at another co-worker's house Why? who was in her 20s. So it's going to be a bunch oh. of people in their oh, 20s, I early 30s, and here. then old man Bill. He's One, also going to no, be I like get, sleeping over. So I get what's going on. I thought that was peculiar. All good. <laughs> um, so she has these like I get it. Wait, wait, wait. pretty close no, I I friendships with yeah. much older men. Got it. But and another factor, relax, I know. Know. a couple <laughs> factors to take <laughs> into account. Coke. She's very good. I'm coke. Case closed, and buddy. Got it. In her past, she has dated a man that is 20 years older than her. Thanks, buddy. So she's into older guys, or at least open to the idea of no older problem. Men. I'll, I'll handle this one. So, open I'm and just going to leave it there. Great. Um, please let me know. Gotcha. What you guys think about this? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it, I do plan. I do like her a lot. She's that's, awesome. That's cool. And that's so fine. So if I do want to take this relationship further, okay. I obviously I got have for you to there, address though. this. I have to bring it up and, <laughs> yeah. and just learn more information about it. I guess um, is this a red flag? Is I gotcha. it not? How should I approach it with her? Ah. Um, ah, okay. I'd love any ah. your guys' thoughts. And, and well, you're gonna get them. You. You're gonna get them about it, man. <laughs> Hey, dude, ice her out. She's a hooker. All good. <laughs> Moving on. Dude, hey. All good. Shocking. Dude, all good. All good. All good. You're dating a lady of the night, and it's fine. Move on. Ice her out. She hooking. It's all good. Dude, that is crazy. You're dating a hooker. Congratulations, dude. Nice to meet you. Oh, where's the woman? Oh, her? Cool. Very cool. How much do I have to pay you to get my nuts sucked? Dude, she is an absolute hooker. That's insane. That is insane. If she's not a hooker, which is a very, 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 very small chance. Her dad died early, and she has huge problems. All Let, good next. So next one. Let's explore just like... For the sake of just doing it. Let's explore what? Our bank account to see if we could afford her? <laughs> let's no, but like, let's, let's <laughs> The clinic to see if we got STDs after it, we had sex with her? What, the, what should we explore? very slow, small chance, you, as you said. Okay, right. That the she's not. Point okay? oh, 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 I don't oh, think, oh, one. She ain't hooking. I don't think it's as simple as she's a hooker. I, I actually don't. Mm. A ho First of all, what do you mean? when you, you don't think she's an actual hooker, right? I think that there's a chance she could be an actual hooker. But what do you think is more likely? He's probably giving her gifts and and money and and she's letting him slide in. You th oh, so you actually think that she's giving him not just like it might be it him... might just be attention and, right. and playfulness and flirting. But either way, that's kind of hooking and well, it's on its well, way that's to hooking. Where I and wanted it will to go with it. Okay, so so it's very possible they're not actually having any sex or, or there's nothing being exchanged. it is extremely possible that, that's that happening, there's nothing yes. being explicitly exchanged in terms of materials besides from the older men to her i'm saying there's maybe there's actually i would say a pretty good chance that she's not actually giving back anything besides yeah. a smile and allowing it to continue basically mm. enough kindness to allow it to continue yeah that being said let's here's here's what i want to say yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just say all of it is as innocent as can be. Right. The party thing, the coworker, go. let's just say all that is as, as, as innocent as possible, right. right? The thing about the ex-boyfriend's dad mm -hmm. yeah. is so, so, so weird. Over the line. That it doesn't matter what's going on under it. Like, yeah. what I'm saying is it doesn't matter if right. she's actually explicitly selling herself for something in, namely sex right or if she's just like we really get along and ever since my boyfriend and i broke up we've grown closer to the point that now he's just like sends me good morning texts with hearts and comes over every once in a that's while with so a bottle weird bro. that's just so weird and dude i get it i so get <laughs> when you're so into a girl yeah 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 at the beginning that you're trying Hell, to see i probably like it because when you hang out with her she's normal she's fun she's funny she's sweet she gets things that you get she likes things that yeah. you like i get it dude but just mm. trust me and him even though you shouldn't always trust him. In this instance, it's fair to do that. He or she's, something's weird. It's a crazy something red flag. Something is too weird. You're and if your question is, is it a red flag? Line. That's how many red flags it is there are. such a big red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Oh, dude. You don't even need to, like, you don't You're even need to know. You're at the county fair. 
Yeah. What's going okay. on under it? It doesn't right. matter. Yeah. The surface is weird enough. Hey, do we keep entering China? Yeah, because there are so many red flags I keep seeing. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I walking in and out of China over and over again? Because I nice. keep seeing a red flag. Yeah, are you <laughs> President Xi Jinping yeah, of China? Dude. At a rally for himself. Are you President Xi Jinping? Because if because it seems are like you President you are, Sean Sean like We are because <laughs> <laughs> Xi Sean Pen. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you President Sean Sean Paul? And for all those people that are like, oh, I don't, don't like that he made that fun of Xi China. Jinping's name. <laughs> What's that? President. Oh, I don't President know. President Sean Sean Paul. Fuck, I don't Sean know. Sean Paul's Paul. a, re a reggae guy. Oh, oh, got it. Dude, fucking absolutely break up with her and go. Or, or You're just, a red flag, dude. No, or just say, hey, that's so weird. Yeah. Like, I need you to know how weird this is. Oh, it's so and crazy. And it's not just me who thinks it. It's also Matt and Chris D'Elia. The only, yeah, the only one who doesn't think it's weird is Sean, pa Sean uh, Paul, dude. That is absolutely nuts, bro. That's pretty nuts. And it said, it, it, your question is, is it a red flag? Yes, it's a red flag. I'm, Correct. I'm, she may not be hooking. Exactly, obviously, yeah. I'm the one who's going to be making the... I honestly don't think that that, is, that <laughs> yeah, indicates it, she's a hooker. No, I know. But, I, my, prostitute, my, but my whole thing is, if you... Sh okay. I I use the term hooker yeah, loosely. That's why I asked. Because, yeah. because to me, though, it's you're still kind of a hooker if that's what you're doing. I, that's why I asked you to specify yes. cause I, I because knew you I didn't mean a prostitute. Like, yeah. But 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 like it's like when you like what is a porn star? People are like, oh porn star is people who have sex on 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 Pornhub or whatever. To me, a porn star is like if you're on Instagram doing this, like and your nipples peeking out, you're a porn star. Well, no, I thought you were going to say I, the other way. A porn star is someone who's famous for doing porn. I, I, someone who works in the adult The industry. star thing is what where I'm losing yeah, you. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, you do porn if you show your nipples. I don't give a fuck. And, you know, you can call me old or whatever the fuck. But like, Yeah, I think that would classify you as old-fashioned to think yeah, that. But, and, yeah, and, and, and do what you want. This is great. I think more people should show their nipples. But don't act like you don't do porn. That's what a pornographic image is. Sure. So... There you go. I mean, you got people busting it wide open and they're acting like it's not. They're like, no, I sing. Huh? In the porn. Who sings? I don't know. I'm just saying OnlyFans people are like, check out my new album and stuff. Well, we live in a world where, you know, people and that's do fine. all these different but that's things. that's fine, dude. Like, real actresses do have OnlyFans now. I'm a comedian. How weird is that? I know, but I'm a comedian. I'm also a conspiracy theorist. You could be a lot of different things, you know? Dude, I know. I have a podcast i'm also a writer i've been that for many many years but mm -hmm. also i'm basically like tony robbins mm, i'm also i'm tony robbins 2.0 i just i just my whole thing is that's a huge red flag it's very weird um you know there, there's nothing wrong with it if you know what's going on and she is copping to it but i she probably doesn't even know why she's doing it dude you gotta break it you got with just, a mixed up person you gotta break it down real get real with mm -hmm. her and just say look i understand that you have this perspective that you think it's normal mm -hmm. but let's just talk it all the way through because mm -hmm. i really want you to understand where mm -hmm. i'm coming from mm -hmm. about how weird this is okay and, and, and also, then have that conversation uh, oh, it's for, not it's not like you need to nix her out of your life no right right if right. you have the conversation she's like oh wait i get it or i understand what you're saying and it's worth it to me because you think it's so weird for me to stop whatever like there's a number of ways this can go with that include you remaining her boyfriend or whatever stage you're at with her, you know? Yeah, and I, I also, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's just, does she, I, I would like, here's for me, I would like her, like if I was, if this was happening to me, right? I would, I would be like, it's important for me to, it's important for, to me that you know that these guys want to have sex with you. I want you to know, because if the second she's like, no, I don't think it's like that. You, you're either with an idiot or a bullshitter. Mm. And then it's like, I can't have that kind of person around me. Yeah. You know, it's and that whole argument of, yeah. well, you think that all I have to offer is sex? And it's like, of course well, not. No, of but to a 60 year old man, and yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you mean, know what I mean? What are you gonna sit and talk about? Right, I mean, of 
Well, that's just like right. straw manning the, the thing you're bringing to her. If you bring that to her and she says, what do you think all I'm good for is sex? It's like, well, ob- no, no, not, that's not at all right. what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying what these well, guys we, yeah. we can't are, ignore yeah. the brekka kakak, right? We can't inno- ignore the boy yo yo yoing. Right. You I mean, know what I'm saying? Develop the stutter and keeps stuttering on this one word that you're trying to say. <laughs> we can't, we cannot ignore the brek kak 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 Develop the stutter. Develop the stutter. We cannot ignore the boy yo 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 Develop the stutter. We cannot, dude. Okay. Okay. So anyway. Next. I mean. Wait, hold on. Hey, okay. Chris. Hey, I want- Matt. I had to type because my younger brother and his 18-year-old girlfriend flat next door, but I would agree eye contact longer than three seconds over a span of several times has to give the impression you're physically attracted to somehow to someone. I have caught her promiscuously deadpan staring multiple times. I look at her like she's my sister, but she's also hot, respectably. I don't know if I should tell my brother what can I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a video. It looks like it's in 1993. Wow. And uh, he's saying yeah, he, he put can't that old say filter this. on it. Yeah. Well, it actually also says it, but yeah. Is this from 1993? <laughs> no. So, but that th- this is hilarious. So, okay. So he has a younger brother who has his an 18 year old girlfriend who he thinks of as his yeah. sister. He couldn't say this because on the video they're right next to him. Right. But he and the guy's face thinks on it, she know, looks at him. With eyes that imply uh, uh, yeah. attraction, undressing, or a sexual, yeah. like like ho- yeah. hopeful for a sexual yeah. activity, right? Uh, what it was his question? What does he do? Well, here's the oh, thing. Oh, I know what you do. Uh, nothing. Yeah, but the most uh, nothing there is. Uh, no, I think that. Uh, so, if you look at somebody for more than three seconds, <clears throat> if they're like you're, in a coffee shop or a stranger you're attracted to them but if it's right. somebody you're in a room with and it's your brother's girlfriend sometimes you need to look at somebody for longer than three seconds yeah, like i look at every yeah. person in this room for much longer than three seconds Not me that doesn't mean anything besides i have respect for them yeah. what do you, like what do you maybe this guy just has re, she has respect everyone for him? you know look at the ground when they talk to you like what are you talking about dude when people look at people that means they're either listening or just paying attention like right. what do you what no, people look at people no but she, he's she's saying staring at him she's staring, all the time she's sneaking look he said three seconds saying. though is what he said. he's saying over three seconds but yeah because we talked i think we talked about times. this but so but okay so what's three seconds so let's look at this so let's take this camera right here so this is me looking at somebody for three seconds count ready it, okay okay right okay you count it ready and go ahead now that was three seconds i mean that's pretty uncomfortable if you're staring at somebody for that long and like if they see and you staring and don't look away yeah and they're not talking. Let me do it. You count it. I'll okay. Look okay. It. Ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna count out loud though. Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Do whenever. Now. One, two, three. Yeah, it's pretty. Weird. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Well, but does it? it doesn't mean longer anything. than that. It doesn't mean anything though. What camera my, did you what look I'm at? saying. I looked at a person. Oh, we look at the camera, dude. Why am I doing that? Okay, fine. Okay, okay. Ready? Go. Ready? Ready? Go. Ready? And go. One, two, three. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I wanted people to know because they're looking at you now. Oh, wait, let me do it again. Again? One, two. I mean, that would be so weird. Wait, an R and B cover, you know? <laughs> two of them, yeah. Um, that's the inside flap. So, but <laughs> yeah, I, I just I think it's an uncomfortable thing to do to a stranger. If you're doing it to a stranger, for sure. If you're single and you're out. You know, and a a woman is looking at you, or a man is looking at you for three more than three seconds. That's your. I would say that that's kind of an open invitation to, hey, what's up? I would say, stranger, sure. Yeah, stranger. Right. But again, again, this is someone who knows her. That's what by I'm saying. His own words very well. Well, that's what I'm saying. So it may just be her. It may be nothing. It may be nothing. I mean, people are crazy. Maybe she does have a weird thing that she wants to. I agree. It may be nothing. And therefore, because of the situation yeah. that it is, yeah. you because act like it's it nothing. may be yeah. nothing, you have mm-hmm. to act right. and, and, there, and actually believe in something. Because yeah. to believe, let alone act, but yeah. to believe otherwise is to cause such problems. Havoc. Like what? Havoc. Oh, it's yeah, to cause havoc. havoc. So much. And why bother? Like, why would you start that? You need someone to be like, hey, I have intense irrepressible 
feelings yeah, for you yeah to like which actually, i've dealt with a lot of times a lot of people say that to me no and it's it's you know it's at some point it's mo- in my 30s people would say that to me because i was really strapping uh it was most of my day i was dealing with that question no okay never happened uh but yeah i, I have mean, crazy pe- intense I think feelings about you like, a lot oh, of people down. everyone sit down you know i get them all together a lot of guys i know always think so this is common so and so likes that like some girl yeah can they, they can tell you know some why girl, right and it's just like you okay. know why right biology guys have yeah, to think uh, that of course okay but i know that but it's it would and be i said it but <laughs> it would be better if those guys also believed people look at people bad for biology because they're around but, but that and is that's bad what for people appropriation do. of the human race sure but like you need to you're think. An she adult. wants me hey what's up you don't Boing. need to think that baby comes out right you and don't then need to think that no. the human race is people look at people the end bye next i think what i like about this guy the most is that he said i would agree before saying the thing about looking at you for three seconds yes just starting a, a new thought with i would agree that is what he did yeah well why, what was it again wait I, I, say, yeah i would agree I, that looking I, at somebody for three seconds longer means that they want to oh right right, right, right i right, have right. it in my head like, nobody fucking said that I, I have it i have it in my head that we've talked about that in this on this show before oh really? i think yeah? we have no. yeah and and if we haven't that's a, an awesome conversational tactic to use mm-hmm. you know what i would agree that you've been a dick last week yeah. but i would like to say if people are like wait wait, wait. <laughs> did i say that yeah that's a really good debate strategy. great great yeah. that's great i'm gonna use that thank you very much uh elvis so all right i was gonna say that i know that's and so and, and i'm shocked yeah. you didn't why didn't you can't say everything can't what? say every, i can't say everything that comes into your mind no no, no i know but it's funny I'll, I'll let you do it. Do you agree it's funny? But did you? But it's not. It's not as funny uh, if I have to do I it. I think it's because I'm me and Here's I said what, it. If it was just me and you, I would have said it. I don't know if enough people know. Thank ah, you very much. It's associated fair with enough. Yeah. I think you have a piece of lint in your in your hair. Gonna pull a prank on me. Uh-huh. Dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smeared dog shit in my hair. Okay. Uh, all right. Cool. Next one. Hi, Chris. Hi, Matt. Uh, my name is Brittany. I I live in San Jose, California, and I am in love with both of you so you much. More, You're but that's so cool. funny. That's amazing. Um, Thank you. you really just made me happy in times where I didn't want to be happy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Me more, um, yeah. Anyway, no. it's Christmas time. Great. And I'm really stressed out. I don't have a ton of money to, to the spend on it. presents, and I feel Thoughts obligated to get <laughs> everyone a present. Like, yeah, he selects it. Like, you know my two close friends my boyfriend his mom his dad his sister his sister's boyfriend oh, well, like I mean, okay, um, I, I, have, I have something i'm just stressed out and i i don't have racks on racks on racks um mm. and i'm not a grinch like i love christmas course, and i love gift giving picture. it's just this time of year stresses me the fuck out yeah. mm. so and i'm not creative like I, I like i can't really make anything but I'm wondering how how do I get inexpensive gifts how, like that don't Batman's look like I got them from the dollar store and that aren't Batman. like super impersonal. Um, any funny. advice will help. That dog is hey. hilarious. That's, so I don't have to give my dog away. Like I don't want to. I don't want to give my me, dog bro. away because I can't that afford the, him. You know, that dog is a shadow. So, Did Doug, does that you. dog want to fuck me? He's staring at me for long as three seconds. Um, I I well, first of all, let me take something off your your back here. I think that if your boyfriend's family he deals with that i don't think you have to worry about that you, that's on him you know like well if they're going to be get everyone in the family if i, let's I understand say, everyone in the family is going to get her something i get it i i, I think it's still on him get meaning a, what meaning it's he, up to him to to like if if Kristen was like what do i get your dad i say this Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, and then I obviously I pay for so it. So by too. on him, you mean? Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So you do mean he not only thinks of it, but he pays for it. I think so. Okay. If it's his family, here's the thing, and this is the most important thing. This goes honestly for everybody who celebrates Christmas mm-hmm. and has people to get gifts for, who get gifts for them, and they mm-hmm. feel like they don't know. If the person <clears throat> that you're giving a gift to mm-hmm. actually gets upset or even slightly bothered by the fact that you didn't spend a lot of money on them oh, f- yeah. as a on a christmas gift and these people are adults yeah <laughs> those people those people suck yeah it's crazy okay that's crazy you don't suck for not having enough right. money to get expensive gifts for them they suck for being like why didn't this person who yeah. doesn't have a lot of money spend it a, a lot a, a lot of it on me okay mm, so yep. that alone should that fact should remove some of the stress yeah. on you. You don't, it's, and I, 
it's not just like I mean I know it's tired to say like it's the thought that counts it you is you gotta though. get a gift anyway for some people so it's not like it's not your thought it's the holiday that makes you get a gift for them but like something thoughtful mm. from person to person someone that that per- it's like either there's like a joke that you guys have had for a while or like something you know someone else is interested in you get them a book on that or whatever it is mm-hmm. like these things are cheap just think about the person and then get the gift accordingly you don't need to think well what's a great gift to get for somebody these people are all individual people that you have individual relationships with get them something that c- it can be literally under five dollars but that is just even if it's just like a ah. Oh, because it and those kinds of things bring you closer. Mm. It's not about money. If you're like mm. an adult, if you're an adult and it's about money, the Christmas gifts you get from other people, like you got something wrong with you, straight yeah. up. Make him a sundial. Make him a sundial, and that's my point. Make him a sundial. It's super easy. You don't have to be creative. Just put a stick on a piece of wood and be like, "Look, it's two o'clock." Mm. You tell because the sun. Well, we gotta go outside, but. Mm. It only works outside. Uh, it's raining. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, I should buy some. I bet sundials are harder to make than we realize. So maybe not. I just use my penis. I go outside. Yeah. I I I, I lay down. Uh-huh. I start thinking of my wife, and then and then once I I'm completely thinking of her. I, yeah. I, it's completely straight up. And, and then, then what that's is when I? Oh, I see. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I go like this. I'm outside. If I'm if, if I'm outside at night, but it doesn't go straight if I'm, up. Right? If I'm outside in the daytime in the backyard and I'm and you see me naked on the ground going, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. I'm trying to tell the oh, time. Oh, that what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen. I'm, you I'm do trying that. to find out what time it is. Yeah. Oh, you go, what time is it? Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> my wife, my wife, my wife. Meantime, my I'm wife, just like my this. Wife, my wife. My uh, wife it's one forty. My wife, my wife. I think it's two thirty, but I can't tell because of the hair. Um. So dumb, you know. Uh yeah, mm-hmm. don't. St- I understand because I stress too, but like you gotta you gotta always remind yourself if these people are. My point is they're not thinking that way. They're not thinking how much money this person spend on me. That's I mean, not uh, unless you're peace. Unless what? Unless you're peace. What does that mean? You're piece of shit. Oh right, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. point. Yeah. And I, I, or I mean, you're that guy's assume... fucking uh, girlfriend hanging out with a sixty year old. Right. Yeah. What'd you get me? <laughs> Hey, let's God. all sleep over the house. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you sleep in the bed too. You're 60. Okay, cool. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> the, the more I think about that, the weirder it is, actually. Yeah, it's so weird, dude. Hey, what's all this? Oh, hey, well, look at that. Is, oh, that's what that is? Okay. Yeah, dude. Tim I Allen. You, it sounded like you were a monster. <laughs> Tim Allen. <laughs> eating someone. Dude, I saw Tim Allen the other day mm. driving by, not even at a comedy club. Did he go like this? No, I was driving by. He was walking out of a Starbucks. And let me tell you something about Tim Allen. That dude looks fucking great. He's 70 years old, and the guy looked top-notch. Mm-hmm. I guess money, but money, like... Money is helpful in yeah, this. Yeah, but I mean, the guy just looked great. He's in good shape. It's messed up, but it's true. A lot of people in Hollywood just look... Yeah. They age better. Mm. Now, let me... Uh, so... And that's money, I guess. <sighs> okay, so I'm 43. I, I, I guess I, I, I look good for 43, I think. You know, like if you, if you see a guy that's just 43, chances yeah. are he's going to be yeah, fat yeah, and yeah, pink. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but like... But like, I don't do anything except you work out like crazy, right? But that's not money. Okay, right. So, so it's I don't. There's no no monetary. I don't use money for anything to keep me looking young. Like I don't have face creams. I don't have any sort of <clears throat> regimen. I take a shower. I use Dove soap. I work out and I eat. I mean that's that's true of dad. I mean dad. Into his seventies, right. right. looked always like right. fifteen years younger than people his age. So and that's true right, of him true. too. Yeah, I guess so. So some so, people just age better. But then there are people like if you look at like if you look at Cameron Diaz, she hasn't had much work done. She looks fucking amazing. You look at Julia Roberts. She does she hasn't? Yeah, she hasn't had much work done. She looks fucking amazing. Oh, I bet you Julia Roberts has had plenty of work. done. Right, some. But I bet she's. But but I'm telling you, a lot of these people look like they haven't had work done that's because they've had such good work done. okay so right? that there's that but then yeah. there are also those beverly hills out people that just look so terrible yeah like nicole kidman yeah right so she's got the same money as julie I know, roberts but you, sometimes your face doesn't react the right way it's uh, just like okay. you know all right uh all right i don't understand it with with actors specifically the fact that they do so much work to their face it's almost really inevitably weird. makes their face more frozen mm-hmm. harder to move mm-hmm. that is literally the the only thing that matters as an actor well subtlety that what is, is your subtle face acting? like you can't freeze that up you can't also, make your one tool that you need yeah. 
less also, good. Also, how weird is it that they do that they do uh, like they'll do like they'll get lip injections and then cheek fillers and then a chin and then like they'll be they'll do a movie about like Julius Caesar and you're like oh yeah. they had work back then. Look at her titties are like so fake and she she got a BBL and she's like Sia. The hell's a BBL? Brazilian butt lift. Oh man, but that ah, why does that gross me out? So you know much? what? Because you have to sit on it. Yeah, it's like so makes me so uncomfortable. Sit on it. What's that Al Pacino <laughs> thing? <laughs> what it right? What is that though? What's it from? I don't remember. <laughs> it was on the soundboard, right? Was it? The I don't know. Soundboard. And you sit on it. <laughs> did, was that just from an impression you did? Oh, it, it might have been from yeah, my impre yeah, yeah. impression I did. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, that, that's the thing about the Brazilian butt lift is. Is that it's disgusting? No, it is. It, 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 it is that. It is that. It's disgusting, but no pun but, intended. Um, they're getting real good at it. What does that mean? They, docs. Oh, oh, oh. and you don't know. Sometimes I've not, you know what's. I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, like the worst person to talk about this because I don't even look at butts. Really? On women? Yeah. Women. I don't look at butts on women. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, now let me ask you a question. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that because I, I, I'm me and I don't, I don't know. That's interesting. Isn't that amazing? So what's wrong with that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't look at butts. You, so you're beta male. No, that's not what that means. You're beta male. I look at other things. Like penises? <laughs> no, other that's things the guy, on that's the guy, women. You know what are you doing? That I'm doing yeah. right? No, I don't. Uh, what's his name? Jesse Lee Peter. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. You must not be doing a great impression. I'm doing a great yeah. impression. No, that's... Just, this, up. this is what he says. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I know, I know. No, I do that better than that's you. That's amazing. So it's okay. But I did that. Dude, it's okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, hold on. Uh, you don't look at butts? I, I mean, obviously... That's of course. Like, I know, I know you're like, not I don't, you don't... I don't peep them. Like, like you, you, you never do a lean. Uh, here's what I never do mm -hmm. when a woman walks mm -hmm. by. Mm -hmm. Really? Dude, oh, I've never done that in my life, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah. I. I Me just, neither. What? Is, what I do is I. I walk back. I trot backwards to stay looking at the front of them. Oh wow, so like, <laughs> that's really creepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Eyes, 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 eyes up, eyes, eyes, eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, 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 up here, up here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Wow. No, I don't. I'm not. Even legs. They're not. What? I don't know. What just to tell did you, zero, but. like like nothing. No, no, no tits, no face, no. I'm gay. <laughs> I, in I fact, I don't even look at women. I just look, I, I look right at about their heads. Yeah. I look at the sidewalks. Uh, Dude, this is crazy. No, I'm like uh, a waist up wow. person. Yeah, much more than men, than I think most men. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So not like black guys. What about black guys? They love butts. Oh, they do. Uh, yeah. You they, could yeah. honestly, your face could look like an, an armoire. <laughs> a black, as long as you got a, a, a back yeah, on it. Yeah, I guess it. black dudes really do yeah. love a rear, you, you rearious Maximus. You could be Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Hey. Hey, look at that. That's Would you look Wiley at that? Coyote. That's Wiley Coyote. I know. So, but I mean, I, different cartoons. Looney Tunes, but like, you know, there's a connection to them and all. Um, yeah, that's uh, really wild. One time I was walking, I'll never forget this. It was in Sacramento, which I will be in January. So get tickets at chrisley.com. But I was in Sacramento and I was walking with, who, th who was I walking with? I don't remember who was featuring for me at the time, but I was walking down the street. A woman walked by and I, I, I guess I, I, I look back. She was pretty. I look back at her to see her whole thing, you know, because I don't, Judge a book just by its cover. I go to the back cover too. And what a good guy. And uh, I want to see who wrote it, you know. And, who wrote it? And um, that is the worst poem. Now don't ruin it because people aren't going to know what I've you're doing. I've never heard him laugh. But people aren't going to know what you're doing and you're ruining what I'm doing right now, right? Mm. So you're taking it and you're steering it away. And that's an inside joke that we have that some people might know. I ruined two things. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just counting. Okay. So, so I look to see who wrote the book and another woman walking this way says seriously you're fucking disgusting wow and i say get the fuck uh, give me a break okay that's it uh, that, didn't, that didn't go where i thought it might go yeah uh, fine that's i'm a good exactly story where i thought that would go. that's a good i'm a good story <laughs> yeah so wait what did she say again exactly? she says oh you're disgusting are you serious you're disgusting it's not oh, disgusting you're disgusting for different reasons well, in my she head, I was like, to be right, but it was not for that. Yeah. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, all men do this, but you don't then. I don't do that. No. Like, oh my God, Matt D'Elia wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, I really don't. Matt is yeah. a waist up guy. Yeah. 
It's just Imagine weird. they would jog backwards and stay <laughs> focused on, on the front of her. Mentally has never looked at a woman even in any parts of her body. Well, um, I wouldn't go that far. So anyway, you having sex like this? <laughs> <laughs> just like this, like watching NCIS. <laughs> NCIS. And then a woman dude. comes on the screen and you go like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I need Scott Bakula on. Oh, wow. That's NCIS New Orleans, not just NCIS. Such a friggin' dork, you know? Yeah. So it's all good. All right, who's up? Okay. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. Anthony here from Las Vegas. I have a pretty big issue I'm hoping you guys can help me with. Uh, regular people using military time. I work oh. in the OR at a local hospital, and for yeah. whatever reason, they love to use military time instead of the standard, regular, normal human time. My real issue with this is like when we clock out for lunch or anything, like it, it pops up in military time. And at the end of each pay period, we have to confirm the hours we've worked in military time, mm. which means I have to do math to figure out if my hours are correct. Mm -hmm. For one, failed math every year ever. For two, shouldn't have to, because I didn't enlist in the military. For three, He's not algebra that bad calculus isn't in three. my job description. <laughs> I just find it to be ridiculous and downright bonkers. For all I care, they might as well change the time format to Roman numerals because it would reading. be just as difficult he's, to figure out. He's literally reading. I literally have to look up a military time converter every week just to ensure my paycheck isn't missing any hours. Wouldn't make it damn. Also, why the F do they just add a zero in front of the actual time in the AM? 0200, 0284368. Shit doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, I'm done ranting about numbers. What should I do? Should I just quit my job? Yeah, that's Join the, the military? Solution. Or just put up with it Doing and hope one day everyone bit, dude. comes to their senses and goes back to standard look, timing. Cuts it in the front of the car. Anything like helps. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you both. Okay, okay. Why did he write it? Now, he was probably just... Oh, look, look, look. First try. That's... Oh, good. Well, at least... Hilarious. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Love now, this guy. Now, I went from being like, what's with this guy? Now, I like him again. Okay. What do you say at the end? First try? Yeah, that's doesn't great. Matter. Doesn't really great. Matter. But guys, that's this funny. is the greatest guy in the world. Funny, uh, yeah, I've never seen someone better. Never, see, never ever makes Gandhi someone. look like a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> um, Wait, Mother Teresa, who? How, what's he? What's this fucking guy talking about? Calculus? It's so easy. It's very easy, like, but what, it's not complex. Uh, it's not like it's written in Chinese digits. Yeah. Like, what do you? What? It's so easy, it, it's dude. It's very easy, but I will say this. Also, the, get used to it. You don't need to know. He he said calculus. Number three, I don't know calculus. You don't need to know calculus. The reason, you need to know simple addition the re and subtraction. The reason why people do it is because it's less confusing. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but it, it, it ends up being more confusing because no one does it. Right. People are more used to just yes. telling time the way the clock tells And, them, and in a medical field yeah. or in army time, you yeah. need to be very precise. Yeah. So you, so you don't say, hey, we're going to bomb someone at 5, and at 5 a.m. you kill all the civilians. You're like, I meant fucking, I meant when the sun's going down. <laughs> you know? Also, yeah, 5 p.m., Right. It's like they're both mouthfuls, so it gives right, a shit. Right, right. Also, you can say all of them in less than one second, right. so it's fine across the board. I this guy's got a gripe that is not a non-gripe. I'm sorry. Mm. Is it annoying? Like maybe a little bit, but dude, get over and it. And what does he do as a job? He works at some hospital. I don't know. So he works at a place where they use it. That's what he's. That's why he's yeah, complaining. So, so you have to use it. That's why. What do you mean? That's that's. I, I, I'm saying don't. So so don't be annoyed at it. He thinks there's some math involved. Like it. Well, what you do is to make it easy is you say, oh, uh, you know, twenty o'clock or whatever. You you got to subtract two, and then take the one off. It's eight. But also. It's so easy. Right, I know, I know, I understand. 1,300 hours memorize is 1 it. p.m. Or, or memorize it, yeah, because you take 30, 1,300 hours is minus 2, and then you take the one off. And you take the, it's it's the one It's so two. easy. And you take the one off. And you take one off and you His first two. point was, well, I've never been good at math. You don't fucking need to be. Yeah, oh, then this is just for you. <laughs> You've never been good at math. This is perfect for you. Yeah, I think that, um, yeah, I, I think that you got to just get used to it. Uh, and that's very, it's very easy. It's actually very easy. And I do know somebody that's very close to me that uses army time all only. Is that right? Yep. And but, were but they, she, are they ex-military? No. Okay. I don't know why the hell she does it actually. She used to be a flight attendant. Maybe, no, that's, that, maybe. I guess maybe. No, that might be why. Yeah. But uh, she does it, her phone is on it. 
Oh, you know? that's cool. It, but it's I'm going to do that. Her, her wad, it's right annoying. Now, just to spite this motherfucker. But it's annoying because, uh, you know, but she'll do it. She'll be, I'll be like, what time is it? She'll be like 2, 2 p.m. Because she, she sees 14. And then she'll say 2 p.m. You know what I'm saying? But she doesn't say it's 14 o'clock to me. That would be really annoying. Yeah, that would be. She doesn't expect others. Yeah, I get it. Right. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I guess that's it. By the way. Next. <laughs> Hey guys, my Not question the voice is expected. in regards Same. to being a people pleaser. Oh, good. Um, because that's what I am. So oh, ultimately, I guess, admittedly, like deep down, obviously don't want to admit this, but like I sort of care what people think. Yeah, um, as does everyone. And whenever people say that they don't care yeah, what people yeah. think, I'm always like. You didn't hack the human condition. Right. Right. And exactly. I, I, yeah. I'm very doubtful. This is Mark um, Lennon, but okay. <laughs> so, Chris, um, having gone shit. through what you've gone through, not only recently, but I mean, coming up as a stand up, I know that it's common for a stand up in your position to have oh, yeah, yeah. shed any sort of uh, feeling that's even close to caring what people think. Um, so for you, what does that actually feel like? Is it actually completely absent or is it more so just the sort of immediacy with which you process that sort of negative perception mm. of you? Appreciate it, guys. Uh, Chris, um, I saw you for like the sixth time in November um, oh, and yeah. you killed it, obviously. Thank you, bro. Um, peace and love. Yeah, I guess I'll just sit this one out because it was only directed at one person. No, it wasn't. And that person wasn't me. No, it wasn't. Great. Um, I think, honestly, it... You, uh, I mean, look. It's a balance, you know? I mean, I want people to like me. It was one of the reasons why I do what I do. But, uh, you know, stand up. But um, I, I think that it's... The second I get consumed with, oh, what do these people think? What is this? What is, what, 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 you know, what makes people, do these people like me? Do they approve of me? Do they, you know, and they're strangers. I, I try to, and I have learned and am learning to combat that with, all right, the opposite of that is who matters to me in my life? What do they think of me? And what am I grateful for? That's the only thing that somewhat helps because, you know, I've been, at the end of a the hate online hate mob you know for years and years and for and you know it's either from something i say or people think that i did something or whatever it is and you know ultimately those people they they don't know me so in for your for your in situation you're talking about people that may not know you on a um grand scale but the people that do what do they think of you you seem like you're a good guy i'm sure you are a good guy and do you have friends and do you have family members that love you that's the stuff that matters because it has to be that way um it's okay to want to be cool for people and want to be handsome or 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 people want you to think that you, you want people to think that you're smart but ultimately when it when when the shit hits the fan what is it about you know it's your family that matters. And so I have my family. I have the people that truly know me that, what do they think of me? They think I'm a good guy. And that matters to me. You if, know, sorry. No, that's pretty much it. You're smart enough, this guy, I forget his name, to know that it's the human, con part of the human condition mm -hmm. is to care what people think to a degree. If you're smart enough to know that, you should also be smart enough to know, or at least understand when I say that people are not wired to care or even know what people very 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 far away from us think people will never meet people that we met online this is mm. not something like that is has been a part of human experience for long enough for us to have folded in and know how to react to that so but it's different for you mm -hmm. And, and me even to a degree obviously to a much lesser degree but anyone who's ever in the public eye at all to deal with the experience of some random stranger saying what they think about something you did or posted online or mm -hmm. whatever 
that's all very different than caring what people in your life yeah, think true. about you. What people in your life think about you, there's a scale obviously, but generally that does matter because those people in your life affect your life mm -hmm. and vice versa. And like that is more, let's say like that's a better thing for those to care what those people think. Yeah. Caring what random motherfuckers that yeah. you'll never meet in your life, literally ever under any circumstance, and their feelings about you will have no bearing on you or your life ever under any circumstance, that shit's gotta get tuned out. That doesn't matter at all. And it's a it's a fucking like red herring mm. that you see it or whatever. Like if you I don't know why you would think this this dude, but like it's it's all it's just bullshit and you need to be able to get around that and totally send it through your head out the other ear. Like it's nonsense. It's inapplicable to you. It doesn't matter at all. But people in your life, you're supposed to care what they think. Hmm. You can't like be like, well, I don't. I want to learn how not to care what people think. That's not going to happen. Nor is that a good thing. Hmm. You should care what people in your life think. If they're dead wrong, then no matter what, their 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 ideas about you won't be corrected. Then sure, hmm. it's okay to not give a fuck. But like, we're supposed to care what people in our lives think of us. Hmm. That's again part of the human condition. Hmm. And you know, frankly, tall. No. Okay. I was with you until the end. And then, frankly, let's be honest. Bing bong, bing bong, bing 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 bing. You know what I'm saying? No. And it's just like one of those things. I do think we should start using Bing a little bit more because Google controls the government. Wow. But, um, Lycos and Bing. And Not Yahoo. speaking English. Lycos is and Bing. Is Lycos still something? What is Lycos? You know what it was. You know it was right. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Lycos was a search engine. It was an early search engine. Bing is still a thing for sure. Yeah. yeah. Bing's Dude. huge. Hey, Bing is a thing. Especially when I say Bing Bong, dude, Bing should sponsor be sponsor this show so Bing I can plug their anybody, thing you know? and say Bing Bong, Bing 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 Bing, and they'll make dude, a bajillion what dollars. What must it be like to be a search engine and not Google? You know, what do you mean? There's you no lose. There's no experience of being a search engine. You're a search engine, and you're not the one we the, use. But those. It's not. There's nothing hey guy, that it's like to congratulations. be. Congratulations, you're a search engine, and you're not Google. You work, I'm saying if you work for them, you, you oh know. work for them, okay, yeah. But it's like, what the fuck, you know? You, but Bing is big, dude. Bing's big. Bing's big, yeah. I mean, sure, it's big, but when it comes Can to search engines, it's nothing. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Name other early search engines. Ask Jeeves, Lycos, dude. Remember Ask, Ask Jeeves, Jeeves? Uh -huh. AOL, Yahoo, Yahoo. I mean, they, they still exist, but yeah. Yeah. Are know. these search engines though? No, AOL Ask not. Jeeves. Start as a oh AOL is an uh, Yahoo is though, right? Yahoo was. Yeah. Oh, it was. Um, Ask Jeeves. Don't yeah. forget about Ask Jeeves. Uh huh. Excite? That's probably still around. Did you forget about Ask Jeeves? Well, I, 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 yeah. What? What'd you say? Ask Jeeves is probably still around. No. Probably not. Really? I mean, probably, there's probably something on their website. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's using it, you know? Dude, Ask Lycos Jeeves. Lycos is the one I remember that is funny to me. I don't remember that at all. That's fine. How do you spell that? L-Y-C-O-S. Oh, with a C, huh? There I was, was thinking uh, like a very Greek thing. No, yeah. right, Vista. right. What was it? Was one, Alta Vista was one. Oh, there yeah. was uh, Excite. Remember Excite? Oh, not really. vaguely. Um, Not Vista. Excite is a all. good name. So yeah. is uh, uh, what Vista? Alta Vista. Alta Vista is a good name for one. Google is crazy how they want, huh? Start a product. Control the government. I want to yeah, start. I want to start a search engine. <laughs> Same. So do I. I was thinking about this last night. Let's do it. I was thinking about this last night. That's why I texted you. I was well, like, dude, if we came up with a search. Is engine, that what you said? I didn't read that's that. why I sent it. I said Google control the government. I know, but you didn't say the. Part no, but that the, the reason why is because uh -huh. I was like, man, we should start a search. Engine. Oh, okay. It'd probably be really hard though. Uh, yeah. See, Google. The oh, thing oh, is, oh, you think it'd be hard to compete with Google? You think? <laughs> that? <laughs> no. The, it's the number one thing in the world. Google is the number one company, dude. Because they here's the thing: they had a search engine, and then they made a browser. Do you probably don't even know this? They own Chrome, bro. And then what, what documentary, like or like <laughs> shitty YouTube thing, did you watch recently? It was on Amazon Prime. And was it just like some like self-published documentary by some random no, fuck that no, was like actually produced by Amazon? Like to yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. actually really good. Okay. It's called the Creepy Line. Shit on Google. The Creepy Line. Yeah, it's about Facebook and Google, and it, it Jordan Peterson's in it. It's just really good. Ah, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really fucking good, dude. I watched the whole thing like this. Oh. Oh, it's about I how kept like, going like that. corporate hegemony. Jordan Peterson's in it. No. no, no, no. <laughs> it's about. It's about how Google controls everything and how they. The thing about Google. The worst <laughs> uh, impression. Just, Mickey Mouse. Just <laughs> Mickey Mouse, dude. 
He sounds like Kermit, first of all, not Mickey Mouse. Uh-huh. Let's talk about the trans <laughs> issue. Um, yo, yo, so it's, um, it's, it's a great documentary, but it's about how Google started. And then they were like, we need to make money. So then they made a search engine and then they get all of your data and, and you think you're subscribing to a product. But the product, my friend, is you. Oh, you just learned that? That's interesting. I've known that for eight years. No, but I knew it. Nice. Dude, give me a pound for and that. And I saw the creepy line. It's called. That's such a bad title. It is a bad that. title, but it is a bad title. But when you watch it, you're like, no, this is what it had to be called. Dude, I just saw a clip of uh, Jordan Peterson recently, and he was asked, do you believe in God? Mm-hmm. And he said, well, that depends on what you mean by do. No. And that, and that depends on what you mean by you. No. And that depends on what you believe mean by believe. Come on. And I was just like, is this a, is this a That's joke? That's great. That's like a Saturday Night Live sketch on it Jordan is. Peterson. It is, yeah. Well, that, that all depends on what you mean by you. Yeah, he said that. And those the breath words. you take before you started speaking. <laughs> that know. all depends on what I said before what you said. Just so doesn't want to answer, you know? It all depends on how the camera crew set up and what mood they were in. <laughs> God just doesn't want to nix out part of his potential yeah. audience, you know? That's funny. That Keep non believers and believers by just not answering that question ever. That all depends on what you mean about you. What what you mean by do. What you mean by you. What do you mean by believe? This is what he said? That's what he said. <laughs> it's, uh, I saw the clip, yeah. All right, well. It's hilarious. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 I'm laughing and that's obvious. Uh, Grow or Die, my special is available. Watch it with your family. Uh, submit to the private record uh, and get our Patreon for a Christmas gift on somebody. Patreon.com slash Lifeline Luxury. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy other stuff. Whee! Bing, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang, bing. Hello? Thank you.